It's such an honour to have you here, Mr Mayor. Oh, please call me Boris. <laughs> Lucky for me that your bike got a puncher, isn't it? Now, would you like a topper? No, no, I'm fine, thank you. Unbelievable. So much for giving him what for. You know, I do so admire a man who devotes his entire life to serving society. I nearly went into politics myself, you know. Really? What? Well if, if you have any ideas for how I could help Walford, here's my card. Oh, I wouldn't dream of telling the Mayor of London what to do. <laughs> Thank you so much. Good. So come and then spill. Sorry? Well, it's obviously something you need to get off your chest. Listen, I think you're forgetting, yeah? Me and you, we do not share. Oh, well, pardon me for caring. You just look like you needed to talk to someone, that's all. <sighs> um... Look, you want a bit of advice from someone with life experience. No one's got more life experience than me. Mm. I don't doubt that. Why are you always so snidey? It's just complicated. Is it? Or are you making it that way? Anyway, what do I know? Seems as you don't trust me to confide. All right, all right. Look, if someone was trying to get pregnant and they hadn't squared it with their partner first... So what are you saying? Ronnie's going to get pregnant and Joel's not going to be happy I about it? I didn't say that! Well, you didn't have to. Look, Rox, chill out about it. Your sister is gorgeous. Joel's lucky to have her and he knows it. Fuck on, turn it, make it a double. Yeah. What's he doing here? Why is everyone looking at me? No one's looking at you. Let's forget the drink, I've got to go. Where's she going? I don't know, but she ain't a fan of yours, is she? I need to talk to her. Looks like there's plenty of people around here with bigger problems than Ronnie and Joel.